let's say we've been viewing dashboards that our colleagues have created, and it's been helping us stay up to date with the status of our company. There are a handful of changes we can make to these dashboards to help us understand and visualize the data better. The changes we're going to make in this video are not permanent and will only be visible to you. They won't affect anyone else at the company. For example, we can change the filter values, which can be found here, if the dashboard creator has added adjustable filters. With these filters, we can limit the results to see just the information we're interested in. Let's take a look at how this works by changing the date filter so we only see results for the past 30 days. Let's also change the state filter so we only see data for the state of California. We'll click the update button in the upper right, and now we can see that our results have changed due to the filters we just set up. But the filters didn't affect all the tiles. The customers by state tile is still showing data for all the states, not just California. This is because dashboards can be set up so that some tiles listen to the filters, while others simply ignore them. The customers by state tile was set to ignore the filters. We could adjust the tile settings in edit mode, but in this video we're just covering temporary changes. We'll talk about edit mode and lasting changes in another video tutorial. We can also hide values by clicking on their label. Here we have two charts, one showing first purchase customers and what source they came from, and the other for customers who have already purchased something from us. If we want to quickly see our customers coming from social media and email, we can just click the other labels to temporarily remove them from the visualization. Let's check out another example of this. This tile shows us counts of orders for the past 30 days. The creator of this tile added a reference line, which we can see here, to show the average shipping time of the orders. Maybe we're only interested in this average shipping time and we don't really care about the order count for the time being. We can simply click the values in the visualization to turn them on or off. So if we click order count, we'll just see the information we're interested in, the average shipping time. Thanks for watching. In this video, we talked about making temporary changes to dashboards, including changing filter values and hiding values in the visualizations.